pop quiz. What makes the sun, the moon, and the stars rise and set? How can it be a winter's night in one place and a summer's day at the same time in another? I'll give you a hint. Because the Earth is spinning and is tilted. All this and more, this time on Spaced Out. Why'd you have to move to the other end of the Earth? I miss you. I miss you too. But I'm really glad we picked out a star before I left. I know. And whenever we miss each other, we can both look up and know we're both looking at the same star. Together. Together. Wait, where's our star? I can't find Polaris. What are you talking about? I can see it. How can that be? Well, it's probably because we are in opposite hemispheres, so the view of the night sky would be different. Hmm. Probably should have thought about that before we picked out our star. That makes sense. Listen. I don't think this is going to work out. Sorry. So what makes the sun and stars rise and set? Well, it's all a matter of perspective. The sun and the stars aren't really traveling around the Earth. It's actually the Earth that's moving. Steve here has agreed to help us show you how this works. So let's pretend Steve is the Earth. Actually, you know what, hang on just a sec. So, Steve is the Earth. Now the Earth is spinning really fast, about a thousand kilometers an hour. That's faster than most jet airplanes. It has what's called real motion. Now from Steve's, I mean the Earth's perspective, I look as though I'm the one that's spinning around, even though I'm not moving. Now the sun and the stars aren't spinning around the Earth either, even though they seem to be. That's called apparent motion. Thanks, Steve, that's all I needed. We know that the sunlight warms the Earth. Then why does it get so cold in the wintertime? Well, sunlight can't spread evenly across the entire Earth. Far from it. For demonstration's sake, let's say that this is the Earth, and this is the sun. Now, when most people think of the Earth in space, they think the poles, or the axis, run straight up and down. In reality, the Earth's axis is actually tilted. So what do we see happening? Well, the sunlight is hitting this hemisphere more directly. That means it's summer in this hemisphere of the Earth, and winter, where the light isn't hitting as directly, in this hemisphere. And just for the record, it's nighttime over here. Now, we know that the Earth orbits the Sun, but the tilt is always facing the same direction. So, when the Earth reaches the other side of its orbit, look what happens. This hemisphere is facing the sunlight more directly, which means summer and winter have switched. But what happens when the Earth is halfway in between? Well, that's spring and autumn, when temperatures aren't too hot and aren't too cold. Those are the points in the year when the sunlight is hitting the Earth most evenly. This is a repeating cycle called a year, and the change in seasons is predictable. But there are other objects that appear in the sky that have predictable apparent motion during the course of the year. Names have even been given to groups of stars to help identify them in the night sky. There's the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, Orion, Taurus, and at certain times of the year, you can even see the lobster. Have you ever noticed that you can't see the same stars in the same places all the time? That's because the Earth is always moving, spinning on its axis and around the sun. That makes stars appear in different places at any given time. In order to better understand this, it's helpful to have an astrolabe. Astrolabe. 
Now, a device used for measuring the height or altitude of objects. You may have made these in science class before. Now, looking through the straw or the scope, find a star. When you find one, pinch the string against your protractor or card. That star is at 37 degrees. Now mark that in your notebook and come back every hour for the next few hours. You may be surprised at what you'll find. You'll see that the position and altitude of your star has changed. That's the Earth in motion. Over the next few months, the stars will even change position. That's physical proof that the Earth is tilted. As the Earth travels around the Sun, the Earth's perspective continually changes. That's why you can only see some stars at certain parts of the year. You can do a similar experiment to monitor the movement of the Sun. Just put a stick in the ground. Go ahead. Note the current time and place a marker at the stick shadow. Come back at different points during the day, like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. Mark the shadow lengths for each of those times. If someone's taken your stick, get a new one. Perhaps hire somebody to watch your stick while you're away. Tell them their payment will be scientific enlightenment. Over the course of the day, the stick shadow will change, tracking the position of the sun. The stick shadow will always be shortest around noon and longest in the morning and in the evening. This is the same way sundials work. Measurements are recorded and marked for each different hour. Where have you been? Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm sorry, Mom. We were all at Lenny's place, and it got cloudy. I had no clue what time it was. That's no excuse. You're grounded. Now go inside and get ready for dinner. <sighs> what are we having? Sabertooth Tiger. I hate Sabertooth Tiger. So let's put it all together. The apparent motion of the sun and stars shows the Earth is actually spinning. You can use an astrolabe and other methods to monitor this motion. The changes of amounts of sunlight and temperatures of different seasons shows that the Earth's axis is actually tilted. These repeating seasons and similar stellar patterns each year shows that the Earth revolves around the sun in a predictable pattern. So predictable and apparent motion of the stars and the sun is a pretty big deal and not just a nuisance that reminds you that you're late for class. Of course, scientists pay attention to the predictable cycles of other objects in space as well. Hey Steve, be the moon. Predictable motion can be incredibly entertaining.